Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you have to go to a family dinner and you're really worried about overeating at the buffet? Well, then you're gonna love these seven tips. Hi, I'm Dr. Rossi. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask Dr. Rossi. Before we get started, I've got to tell you that if you like the sort of videos that you're watching here, please go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. And also hit that little icon that looks like a bell so that you receive notifications when new videos are posted. In this video today, I'm gonna to teach you seven tips that I have followed in order to avoid overeating when you end up going to a buffet. They're very simple and very straightforward. Here you go. Tip number one. The first tip that you gotta remember if you wanna avoid overeating in a buffet is don't go to buffets. Seems very simple and obvious, but it is true. Try to avoid buffets like the plague. They're the worst possible situation if you're trying to control your diet. But sometimes we don't have a choice and we do have to go to a buffet for social reasons. If that is the case, then these six other rules are gonna follow. Tip number two. Don't go to the buffet hungry. Make sure you eat a snack, a piece of fruit, something at home before you go to the buffet. And the reason is that the three biggest things that affect our diet in a buffet is temptation, curiosity, and hunger. You wanna make sure that you've curbed the hunger before you hit the buffet. Number three, don't stand in the buffet line. Pick up a plate and scan the entire line to see if there's anything you like to eat. Oftentimes, the biggest problem people have are that when you're hungry, the things that are most unhealthy and the things that are worse for us are in the very beginning of the buffet. And we end up piling everything up on the plate while we get to the end. So the way to avoid that is to go right ahead, skim right through to the end of the buffet line. And that brings us to tip number four, which I call the three plus one rule. When you scan the buffet line, Pick three items in that buffet line that you think are foods or entrees that you want to eat and pick one dessert, three plus one. Then you go back to the beginning of the buffet line, pick up your plate and pick up those three items and the one dessert. Tip number five, sit as far away as you possibly can from the buffet line. It seems very simple and very obvious, but it is very powerful. Having the sight of the buffet line or being very close to it can negatively affect how much you eat. So sit far away as possible. Tip number six. This is something that I call the 2090 rule. What does that mean? Well, once you get your plate of these three items and sit down at the buffet, make sure you spend at least 20 minutes before you get up. So no getting up for 20 minutes. And in that 20 minutes, you wanna finish no more than 90% of what's on your plate. And the reason for this is you don't want to wolf down your food very quickly and then wait around without anything on your plate while everybody else is eating. You wanna eat slow and slow and spread the time so that at the end of 20 minutes, there's still at least 10% of food that you initially served yourself left on the plate. So that's the 2090 rule. And the last number seven rule is try to get to the dessert early. So you pick that item, the dessert item that you wanted. If you didn't pick it up at the beginning of the buffet, go back and get that item only. Sit down and finish your dessert. The reality is that psychologically, eating a dessert signifies the end of the meal for most of us. And we tend not to overeat when we've picked up the dessert and finished it. So those are my seven tips. Give it a shot when you go to your buffet and you can please leave a comment and tell me if it worked. For most of my patients and for myself, I find it does work and it's very effective at curbing our hunger and controlling the amount of food that we go to eat when we go to a buffet. This is Dr. Rossi and thank you very much for the, joining me in this week's video. And if you again have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me by leaving a comment down below or sending me an email or leaving me a comment on my Facebook page. Until next time, have a happy and healthy heart.